All right, well, hello everyone and welcome to the Gentleman's Gank podcast, a show where me and th- three other, two other, three other people, three other uh, dudes uh, come in and chat about science, technology, space things, video games, anime, uh just general nerdy stuff all around and in the meantime we drink alcohol which in this case is a ginger ale Ah. and uh yeah we've been doing this for seven years We're, we're definitely still doing that nothing's changed uh at all from that time we're we're still the same audio podcast that's what I should do when I edit this I should just have it start out as an audio podcast and then like fade into me sitting on the couch I could do bloopers as well could be fun it's a lot of editing though and uh video editing's tough not to say I haven't done a lot of it at this point Hey, can you give me drugs as well? What? Can you give me drugs as well? Yeah. Like two of them? Okay. We're in the state of Georgia, which has legalized ibuprofen. <laughs> that was a brilliant joke. <laughs> and no one will ever hear it, I know. Quiet. All right. I mean, this isn't so that we can hear us. I this thought it was so we could know if we were talking loud enough. Uh, no, it's so that we could hear um, Tim when he's here. Well, will we be able to hear him? We should. Okay. This is really funny. There we go. I spritzed it in there. Thanks. That is a martini. With no dirt at all. Hello, loot. When we started the podcast, you weren't here. You've got gunk on your eye. That's weird. Yeah. You got it out. Good girl. Alright, more stuff to potentially cut out, but I won't. So, uh, yeah. The, this this podcast started seven years ago. Ooh, drugs. See? Oh. I got him. Thanks for the butt in the face. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, started seven years ago. Um, with with three other dudes, four dudes total. Mm-hmm. Big old sausage party. It's the the gentleman's gank. The gentleman's gank. Yes. Uh, that went through many named revisions before we settled on that one. Uh, none of them were good. <laughs> Including Gentleman's Gank. Uh, it was the best of the worst. And it all started because we wanted a outlet for creati- creativity, and I wanted to drink. And I was 21 years old. And a firm believer, and still a firm believer in the fact that you just shouldn't drink alone. That's just kind of sad. Um, but uh, drinking with friends is another matter. And let's just ignore the fact that they're uh, dozens of miles away, potentially, um, over an Ethernet cord. So, uh, <laughs> <coughs> to be fair, when it started, they were all in the same state. That's true. In fact, you started out by hanging out with them in person and then went home to podcast privately. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's true. You're being so very nice. I was a sad 19, not old enough to drink. <laughs> and uninvited to the show, so I just watched. Yep. And tech checked. Like, hey, can't hear you. You've been streaming for ten minutes, but... Yeah, well, we not when we started. You. No. 
When we started, we were a 100% audio podcast. We recorded in Audacity off of Skype. Yes! Uh, what, what did I... I... I remember staying up late into the night after you posted it and listening to the... The, like, three-hour-long... Three hours! It was three hours! It was, it was ridiculous. It was close to three hours. Let me, let me see what it was. Hours. I think it was, like, two hours and... I've got 43%. I don't need that anymore. Yeah, that won't terrible. come back to bite me in butt. Hey, shut up, globalism. Yeah, globalism. Who was that? Uh, some pastor, probably. Oh, shut up. I brought my uh, phone in so we could see the chat, but we don't have yeah, those right there. anymore. But, like, we can't answer it there. No, we can't answer it there. You're correct. We can just answer it by, you know, using our voices. Mm-hmm. Yes. We don't do that. We don't use those. You're thinking of uh, you and Tim, who... You're right. Honestly, Tim might as well be here. Uh, he was the one that actually suggested this, although we would have done it anyways because we've done this every year. I don't hear the heavy breathing of deep sleep. You're right. Hey, it was only an hour and 49 minutes. That was not the very first one. That was the very first one. No, it was longer. That was, that was episode one. But you do two hour streams now. Why was that one so, why did that one seem long? Well, because it was an audio podcast. Yeah. Nobody listens to audio podcasts that are two hours long. Uh, yep. Yep. No, that's right. Yep. Episode one, seven years ago. The old picture. Mm-hmm. The Gentleman's Gank podcast. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, so bad. <laughs> I think I was doing a Dracula thing then, but I don't want to hear the last, uh. Yeah. One hour, 49 minutes, and then we went down to 55 minutes because, you know, one hour is way better for an audio podcast. Um, everything I listen to now is more than an hour. And I think the podcast you do now is more than an hour. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's an hour minimum. But for some reason, that first episode just felt long. The <sighs> twice that I listened to it. Well, it might have been... I don't even remember why I listened to it a second time. I ended up... I ended up going back through because in a later episode you referenced something from it and I wanted to check on that. Uh, it probably had something to do with the fact that we had no skills whatsoever. <laughs> We were unfunny. <laughs> and still, I look back on those podcast times as better days of Gentleman's Gang. <laughs> it's because oh. Pierre didn't know how to be drunk yet. Oh no, I had no problems with drunk Pierre. And it was funny. I had... You said you weren't funny. I was explaining that. Oh, the group was funny. Gotcha, gotcha. We weren't funny at that point yet because Pierre hadn't figured out how to get drunk. Well, no, I'm saying Pierre was the only really funny part of the group. Oh, gotcha. Because he hadn't figured out how to do his drink thing yet. Gotcha. I mean, he still can't handle a drink, but no, but at least he knows it. <laughs> yeah. He plans accordingly. <laughs> eh, his wife does. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that's changed. Uh, every single married. one of us has gotten married, aside from, yeah, every single original mm-hmm. Gentleman's Gang member is married All now. All three? Four. It was three, and then a fourth was... No, Tim, no, it Dom, was four. John, Pierre. and Pierre. Man, I don't even go by John anymore. Hey, thanks, Murray! Hi, Murray! Uh, Yeah. See, that's another thing I, I was going to talk about much later, but uh, we've made new friends through this. Uh, two of them. T- two of them. Yeah, Tim's married. Mm-hmm. Uh, last year? Yeah. In yeah. Of the pandemic. Yeah, sort of this time last year, I'd say. Or maybe a little bit later. I think it was later. Because things were closer, closer to off. Christmas, like Thanksgiving time. I don't remember. I think so. Oh yeah, there's dogs. Oh yeah. Come, Come on, on out. 
Yeah. Oh, Luke doesn't want me to drag uh. her by her tail. Hector's been dying to get on this piece of furniture all day. Come on. Come on. It's Hector. <laughs> Yay. Come on out. Oh, it's loot. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Loot's so much bigger. She is. <laughs> She's the same height without, you know, without being, being on a <laughs> lap. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Murray hasn't really seen Hector yet. I wanted him to get a good look. Yeah. He's <laughs> less of a puppy now. Still a baby. Yes, he is. Um. <laughs> yeah, we've made we've made friends. Um, t two of them, I think. Two of basically. them. Basically. Yeah. Um. You're one of them. We keep missing you. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> going to Savannah, and you're not there. Uh. And then there's a uh, wombat who uh, I now do a podcast with every week. And I've seen him. Drove out to Texas and saw him. Mm -hmm. um, but when we drove out to your place, Murray, you weren't there. And we were sad. <laughs> uh, he is yeah. a little cutie. He's also... Well, very young. Yes, <laughs> he's a problem. <laughs> oh, how many episodes did we do before we switched over to um, something that was way more? I don't remember. It was a lot. Thirty-five. No. I'm very confused. So I've got episodes. Through one through ten, then eighteen through thirty four, then fifty, fifty one, then thirty five. Sounds like a lot of them are missing. It sure does. Do you think they can hear that? I mean, I can certainly feel it, because he's just pushing against my butt underneath the futon. In case you couldn't hear it, Loot was grumbling? I think so. Pretty vocally. <laughs> if we really did 51 episodes, then that means that... It was about a year. We made it about a year. And then you switched to Twitch. But... I remember us switching in, like, May. But that's the problem, is that we switched We switched to streaming. Ago. Yeah, it was seven years now. Um, we switched to streaming, and Pierre set it all up on Twitch, except he didn't. <laughs> he set up, like, nothing. <laughs> he, he set it up... We were supposed to save all the recordings, which he didn't. He also set it up to record his voice, uh, but he only recorded our voice. Yep. So on our very first two streams, I think it was, nobody could hear Pierre. And the second one... And the first one, you like you found out about it afterwards, so you thought you fixed it. I don't think so, because like, the second... I which think is this... why for the second one... I thought you just knew you couldn't hear him. Okay. Or, yeah, because he was playing the game. He was the one playing. Yes. And I know the second one was the one where we got raided and we had... And that's where we met John Zay. Uh, multiple hundred people. I cannot say people. his name without drinking. Yeah. <laughs> we had over a hundred people in our second stream. Wherever you are, John Zay. Yeah. Hope you're still alive. Yeah, wherever you're there, <laughs> wherever you are, hope you're above ground, because, uh, mm -hmm. there's a good chance you aren't. Man, you did a lot of drugs and alcohol, so and you crazy. were younger than Murray was when we met him. <laughs> oh. And you lived out in the woods, and you Can't played with know. dead squirrels. And you were afraid of moose, which is fair. That's definitely that's, valid. That's fair. Uh, and you, uh, 
you watched our first, well, our, I guess our, our first big stream, mm-hmm. our only big stream, you wrote and, a fanfic. and then you wrote a, a dirty fanfic about us, oh, an erotic fan fiction about four dudes, except three dudes, because Pierre was silent and he didn't believe that he existed, mm-hmm. until later when we told him that Pierre existed, and that was and weird. he didn't he hadn't believe included it him, until and he didn't believe... And then he... Pierre was actually able to be heard Wrote him into the story in, like, the first, like... (laughs) First little bit of the erotic fanfic. And then just as a guy that doesn't exist and is masturbating furiously. Just (laughs) into a corner, yeah. Uh, What was it? A year or two later, we got, um... Our next member, mm-hmm. Aaron, the Paramecium Kid, or Problemecium Kid, or I don't know what he goes by nowadays. Oh, okay, I was going to say, it was Paramecium Kid at the time. Yeah. Well, he was in the midst of changing. Um, I think he's still in the midst of changing, because I'm not certain what name he goes by, or what gender he goes by, Okay. or what anything, but I know that he is LGBT, Mm -hmm. which most of us are at this point. Yeah. So, (laughs) (sighs) um, but yeah, I think he's in Florida, which, I mean. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know why you would I haven't heard from him in a very long time. Uh, Yeah. But, uh, I guess of all of us who have talked about making games, he's been the most successful. Not that he he's made games, but he's made so many tools and sold them on, oh. like, the Unity store. Mm-hmm. So, if you play a space game, you've possibly seen his work, because he does really, really good space physics and He was and really into stuff. space. Yeah. Played a lot of, um... Space program. Yeah, Kerbal Space Program. And Eve. Yeah, we allowed him to play Eve. Well, you allowed him. I wasn't part of it officially yet. You allowed him to play Eve on the stream one time. Yeah, and we just shat on it the entire time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Terrible game. It really is. Terrible game. I don't understand how he and Tim play it so much played it so much. I don't know if it's still a thing. It is. I don't understand how it's still a thing. Um, so yeah. Then, uh, uh, all through this time, of course, we had the, um, uh, a follower by the name of Brovius Nominus, who no one knew who they were <laughs> since the very that. first episode. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, you. I think you might even have commented on the very first podcast. Pretty sure I did. Um, I guess I can look at that. And you were careful because you knew my screen name, but none of the others did. Well, oh, because I helped you make the screen. No, you well, didn't. I was the cause of you making the screen name. You gave me Minecraft, but I made it alone one dark morning making my Minecraft account. Mm hmm. Because it didn't want... It wouldn't accept my other screen name of Tom Bombadil Memorizer. Apparently that was too many characters. So I was like, well... You can explain it. Gosh. F that. Different language for short name. Exactly, Murray. But since it ends with an us sound, people naturally think it's male. Which is also a very good idea for a screen name on the internet. <laughs> Oh, uh, you you didn't comment on it. The only one that commented on it was Jack, someone I know from work. Oh, okay. They believe in Thor. Cool. Mm-hmm. Like the the literal god of thunder. That's their religion. It's pretty dope. That's really cool. Yeah. I think they're back in the States. They lived in Scotland for a while. Oh, lucky them. Why would they come back? They went there for school. Why would they come back? I love how Tim was supposed to be here, but he's not. Yeah. So typical. 
right. What's on my list? No, oh, yeah, so you, you were our first and, and longest viewer, and then... And no one knew who I was. Yeah, and then we lost Aaron, because... Well, I don't I, even remember why we lost Aaron. I fired Aaron, but um, that's cool. The Navy will let you keep a beard if your religion is Norse. Oh, <gasps> that's cool. I mean, Norse isn't the name of the religion, but I it's it's like Arspica or something like that. I it's I don't remember. Well, now I want to convert and join the Navy. But I can't grow a beard, so there's no point. No. But that's still really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I fired Aaron because he wasn't at any videos for, like, a month. So I was like, why do I keep trying to get you to be here for these videos? You're, you're stressing me out and not contributing anything. So I fired him. And now, I mean, for some reason we still have Tim around. He doesn't go a whole month, usually. And when he does, he gives notice. Aaron didn't give notice. Yeah. I was hearing that and being like, well, dang, I might get fired soon. And then I realized <laughs> I'm here right now, so I got 29 more days until I have to show up. Damn on straight. <laughs> uh. Yeah. And then, like, a month or two after that, Pierre quit because... He was becoming a manager for a retail company, mm -hmm. and I don't know anything about that. That's, that's like a super low-stress job that, you know, you can just do just in whatever you want on the side. Right. That's why we drink liquor. That was a lot. You're going to regret that. <laughs> I, need, I I couldn't keep listening to that, that that stuff you were saying right there. Yep, I'm feeling that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, give me an interpretive dance on uh, being a manager. <laughs> no, don't. No. <laughs> uh. And then... That was fun. Like a year or two later... After we were married and moved into a house, we convinced them to add you in. Despite the fact that you had been in videos I for was about a year. Pretty sure I hadn't even missed a stream at that point. Yeah. Like, I've missed streams since, but for a long time, I found a way to show up to almost every single video. Yeah. And you... if I didn't see it, I watched it later. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the. You and I were the only ones at that point. Yeah, we were tied for videos or streams watched. Mm -hmm. And everyone else was like 50 to 100 fewer. Yeah. Because if I couldn't be there live, I watched it when you posted it. Or I watched it on Twitch later. Because I remember a lot of times I had to close at work so I couldn't be there when it was live. But I got home at midnight and I watched it till 2 yeah. and... Well, at this point, the the my job can't fire me, so I might as well go ahead and say that um, the nights that I missed, I didn't miss because I was in the back office and nobody else was around me, so I could pull up Twitch on my phone and mm -hmm. still interact. Yep. Yep. I miss those days of less responsibility. I also miss not having responsibility or being responsible. That one. I miss being irresponsible. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and getting away with it. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. For example, you're going to feel that later. <laughs> I know, but I work later than usual tomorrow. It's fine. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, we, a lot of things have happened. Um... Every single one of us is married. Mm-hmm. Um, including you. Including me. Including you. I yeah. found someone. Mm-hmm. Amazing. I, I still don't know how. Um, we've all moved. We all have pets. Yeah. We do all have pets. Pierre 
I think has a cat. Pretty sure. Yeah. Less sure now. No, pretty sure, because he had to get a case for his figures. Yes, that's correct. Um, Tim has a cat. We've all seen it. It mm-hmm. replaces his face sometimes. Yeah, and chest, which is amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> hey, fat jokes versus Tim have been a staple since the literal beginning of this channel. I know. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, yeah, Dom has a dog and a cat. Mm-hmm. And we and have two dogs. We have two dogs. The, you know, proper type and amount of animals. Although we still want a fish. We, we just don't... Fish. We don't have the space for a fish or the yeah. equipment. Yeah, there's things we'd rather spend our money on. Yeah. Like, moving again. Mm-hmm. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, we'll be we'll be moving again in the next two years. Please. Hopefully, way sooner than that. That'd be nice. What kind of fish? I mean, bait is kind of normy, but like they are pretty. They are. I, I like neon tetras. They're also kind of normy, but they're they're pretty, and you can also. Do like <laughs> another dog. Plecostomuses and other things alongside them. Or we as a need to wait a little do. while on another dog. Yeah. We need Hector to get his life together. Yeah. And then we would need the budget to increase. Because dogs are kind of expensive. Yeah. Especially when they need surgery. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to call, but whatever. Um. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Fish. We moved. Oh, moving. Uh, Dom's moved like five times because he moved out of his parents. Yep. No. Yeah. And then no. he moved to a different house or a different then little. Then he stayed apartment. with us for a while. And then he moved with Pierre. After us. After us, and yeah, with us, and then after. And then us. he hung out in Alabama. Yeah, yeah, and then he went to Alabama. And now he's in a house with his wife. And now he's in a house with his wife. And his pets. Yeah. It's like six six places, I think. Mm. Uh, Tim was in a college dorm. Mm-hmm. And so I think he was in two or three of those. Probably. And then... Didn't he, he room with Aaron? I think once. once. Yeah, I seem to recall them being... Roommates. Yeah, I I fortunately did too, Murray. I did. Yeah, I forgot no, about I had it. forgotten about it too. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So like like three probably three dorm rooms. Mm-hmm. Um. Then he moved to Alabama. Alabama. And worked and, for the college still. So. Yeah. But I think he had an apartment, and then I think he had a house-ish, or, like, rented a house. I don't know. And then he moved to a different place in Alabama, where he currently is, and had an apartment there. Mm-hmm. I remember visiting him at his apartment when we But now he has that. a house. So, like, seven moves for, for ten. We each moved once. Yeah. Pierre's, Pierre's had a couple as well. I keep mentioning Pierre because, one, he's a founder, and two, he's still close enough mm-hmm. with with us. Like, he, he still jumps up on. every now and yeah. then. He's and usually he was our there. first retiree. No, Aaron was. Well, I guess retiree. Yeah. Means not fired. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say no. We didn't push him out. In fact, we were very upset when he left. We begged him to stay. Yeah. <sighs> we've uh, we've changed technology a lot. I started on a uh, laptop that uh, oh, gosh. was amazing. I loved that laptop. When it was new? When it was new. And then when it was five years old. And then when it was seven years old. But then after seven years old, I didn't love that laptop anymore. After I was seven years old, the laptop didn't love you anymore. No, it didn't. It wanted to die. Yeah. It but I kept it alive for another three years. And 
<laughs> set up its new life and crawl into it, and you said no, and it hated you for it. Yeah. But I also hate me, so that's not, you know, that strange. That's why you didn't care. <laughs> it said I hate you, and you said me too. Uh, and then it didn't know what to say, so it crashed. And then eventually, uh, I got a desktop. And it's basically the same... Yeah, you went out same... and bought a desktop. Mm-hmm, just with my own money, pocket money. Went out and bought one. And it was already assembled and everything. Fine, I built one. Yeah. It's cool. It's blue. It is blue. But it's, it can be other it's, colors. It's right there. You can't see it. Nope. But it's been in videos before, so whatever. If you want to see, uh... Scroll my... up forever on Discord to where he posted a picture of his RBG stuff. <sighs> like three R years. RGB. RBG is... I said RGB. The Ruth Bader Ginsburg. No, I said RGB. She's dead. I said RGB. And she should have quit beforehand. I said red, green, blue. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want to see it? Yeah. Um, here's what you should do. It's been in a video before. I don't know which one. Watch our entire catalog. <laughs> Eventually you'll see it. Unless it was one of the... No, don't do <laughs> It's Murray. We like Murray Fuchsia USA. Can you not stabilize at all? Man, I'd love to have a DSLR. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a camera. I'll private it to him if you don't want it on the <laughs> public Gentleman's Kink Discord. Because Murray and I, we got a direct message going on. Okay, we're cool. Frenzos. Frenzos. Does that have the Z in it that... <laughs> you you know it does. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know that weeks would be enough at this point. I mean, I feel like in the last two years, since we switched over to our most recent um, setup with like retro rehash and stuff. Which I think started in twenty late twenty nineteen. We've probably produced more than mm -hmm. two weeks of content just since then. Really? Just since then? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, since then. But everything before that would have been <laughs> You're welcome, Murray. <laughs> he wanted to see the blue. Um, yeah, so I've got a, a new desktop. We've rebuilt yours. Mm -hmm. It needed it. It, yeah. I mean, was yours, yours was more powerful than Wookie my laptop. Wookie did a great at the end. job. Yeah. But it needed an update. There is so much raw footage from GG. Hey, but uh, because of you, I uh, edit and upload things to YouTube. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so much work. Ah! Wait, you've been doing that for Murray specifically? M Murray's the one that told me I had to. You're the reason that I'm not the only sleep deprived one? I'm kidding. He, I have... he wouldn't sleep anyway. Like, so many things have changed because of that. <laughs> I mean, I've got the video editing software, which I didn't have, well, like, I had beforehand. Oh, you begged him. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's fair. Um. But do you still need it? Like, you're local now. I mean, you're not, but you're sort of. I mean, he, he doesn't watch our streams. Kristen, do you know who watches our streams? Not even you. You don't watch our streams. I'm watching our streams right now. No, you're not. Yes, I am. That's the chat. It's you gonna don't. count as a view. I don't know that it will. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it counts as a viewer. How many viewers does it say we have? How many real viewers? Real viewers. 
Okay, I need to use up the battery on seeing the video. Um, I'll use battery for us. I agree, Murray. It is the right move. I just don't have to like it. Yes, you do. <sighs> I like how I set up my hair for the right earbud to hide it, and then... Hello, what's the left? Oh, you want so the... I just have stupid and even hair. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, sure. We're married. We're allowed to do this. Mm. Are you trying to tell them you get pregnant from swapping your butt? Yes. And die. And die. Mm -hmm. I don't think it hides it. <laughs> Whatever. You can tell me if uh, Tim joins and then I'll cuss him out while not listening to him as I go turn on his camera onto the... Uh, the thing. Drinking and swapping earbuds. Correct. Yes. Yes. The, the difference... It's an the and difference slash is, or it's not and. But there, there is a difference. If you drink before you're 21, you will get pregnant and die. But like, if you swap earbuds ever, you will get pregnant and die. If you're not married. No, even still. Hey guys, ready to watch me die? <laughs> Because we just well, swapped earbuds and I drank. See, yeah, but you're drinking out. But you're old enough. I am old enough. So, you know, the drinking doesn't do it. In fact, the drinking does counteract it because oh, everyone knows you shouldn't drink when you're pregnant. It. <laughs> now, you can't do that in Texas, though, or else you might get fined. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. You brought Texas up. Let's see. Got Murray as the VIP. Mm. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, we've got three moderators here. Supposedly, Tim is one of them. But, he Pretty sure I'm one of them, too. Yes. But, uh, he hasn't joined us, so he probably just has it open in a tab somewhere. He probably has 300 tabs open. I'm guessing, oh, right? gosh. Because he's got so many, like, just the way he treats things in general. He's like, oh, yeah, I've got a terabyte hard drive filled up, so I'll just buy another one. Like, or you could empty any of the things off and still be Whereas fine. I, like, twice a week, like, go through my phone and delete conversations and... Yeah. Go through my computer and delete things... Oh, yeah, like, uh, for for GG, like... Like, T yesterday T3 I was like, through. hey, this game that I downloaded for that yeah. stream, that one time, are we ever going to touch that again? For, for Tim's Terrible Trials, which is an awful show that I hope never comes back, but it might, um, he, uh, he sends us terrible games and we play them, and after every single one of them, I actually go through and uninstall it. Whereas Tim would just leave that there for because he has infinite space. So like if I have infinite space, I might as well you know use it. No, such a bad system. Mm -hmm. You like that show? <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy one of my I'm, shows. I am glad you enjoy watching. Did it. you see the one that I did? It's miserable to to perform. You wouldn't have enjoyed it. Don't go back and watch it. It was terrible. I couldn't get used to the controls. Yeah, you know, we've gotten like better mics and stuff. Mm -hmm. I know. I've had this since the first year. The first year, but since we started in September, I got it in December for Christmas. Um. Yeah. But I can't remember what I used before then. I might have just used my laptop mic. Not even a headset? I I never had a headset. Oh, weird. The, uh, the... I bought a headset when I built my computer. I didn't build a computer. I know. I, I bought a pre-built laptop from Dell. 
Mm -hmm. Well, my first computer was a laptop from Dell. It was like a $500 laptop. I guess my computer before then I did build, but... But then when I graduated high school, um, my parents gave me some money and my brother gave me as a present knowledge and we built it together. Yeah. And now it's been completely... I don't know that there's any... Aside from the case. The case is original. I don't think anything else is. I don't think so. But the case is. Mm-hmm. Um. And I guess the Windows license? I don't think so. I think we got a new one. Oh. Okay. Maybe. Oh, hey, Tim. Hi, Tim. You want to join us? I think I will. Oh. Here we go doing it again. Better drink, otherwise I'll get pregnant. And I suppose I should turn on camera just so that if you turn on your camera, it won't fuck it up. Ugh. Yep, I'm working on it. Will we be able to hear him now? Yeah, better. Excellent. Hey! I live! <laughs> you do. But yeah, like, Dom's gotten a, a Yeti. Uh, I've had one since year one. And then picked up my uh, headset, which I typically use nowadays, just because it's simpler. And I'm not exactly podcasting. And then Except when you are. You've got the same headset. Mm-hmm. What did we? What did you use beforehand? A different headset. Okay. I've always had a headset. I know Dom started with a headset, and I borrowed a headset from him for a bit, which was an identical one. That was the headset with the uh, thousand yard cords that allowed him to go into the other room and go to the bathroom and still be plugged in and able to do stuff. What what podcast was it? Was it was early on? It was was it like four or five? You live when it happened. I know. But, but we like, still never let him live it down. No, it was, I know. It was like four, I'm just annoyed I missed it. Podcast four or five or so and. We tell Wombat, or Wombat, Wombat's who I do podcasts with now, uh, <laughs> tell Dom, like, all right, Dom, why don't you start it off? And he's like, well, flush. <laughs> and you just <laughs> hear the flush right there, and you're like, hmm, I guess, I guess we can't start right now, and I'm mad that we weren't recording this whole time. The more things uh, change, the more they stay the same. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and what are you using anyway. now? Me? Yeah. Um, give me a second to turn off the um, behind-the-scenes magic, and I'll give you a quick tour. Okay. Ta-da! It's a room. All right. It is a room. It is a room. Oh, so this is the room in the new house. We've been here about four months now. Cool. That's Riley behind me, my wife. Hello, wife of Tim. Hello, wife of Tim. Murray didn't believe she existed. No, he didn't. Ah. Yeah, she he existed. He said there was no way that's anyway. possible. She's like, Tim? Yeah. Married? Moving that for a second. That is my mic setup. Yep, nice. that's another blue Yeti. So, <laughs> yep, Yeti on a shock mount with a pop filter that I probably don't need, but it's nice to have anyway. They're always needed. Yep. And then... Two monitors, because why not? Only always. two? <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. This one right here is a dinosaur. I, I picked this one up for like five bucks at a thrift store. Okay. And then... Computer's down there. Nice. Liquid cooled. Yep. So pretty. Cool. So I guess everyone uses a Yeti at this point. 
Except for me. Except for you, but I mean, I don't do it on a regular basis. I'm pretty much the industry standard now. Yeah. Or it was, you know, four or five years ago. Since then, I think they've actually made a new one. Yeah, well, mm, no, not really. I mean, Blue still goes with the Yeti as their, their main line um, microphone. They do have an XLR version. Um, and then I think they have a deluxe version that can do both. But why would you do both when you could have XLR? Um, because you don't have a, um, audio box that the XLR goes into, whose name I forget. Uh, a mixer? That thing. <laughs> yeah. You should just buy a mixer. Yeah, I, I should will one of these days. At this point, I'm, I'm using a, uh, software version, and it has made things better and made things more complicated, um... But it's not the same as having an actual physical device that does the same job better. Yeah. Okay, the Yeti X is what I was talking about. It's a USB mic, and it looks like it's about the same price now that mine was when I bought it. Gotcha. Okay. Wait, does that mean the Yeti Blue is cheaper? Let's find out. Well, What's the Yeti Blue going for these blue days? Blue uh, is the brand. Yeah, blue is the brand. Uh, Yeti is now 99 or 100 bucks flat. Okay. The Yeti X is 140. Okay. I mean that's not much more. Yeah, not really. Both of them still way out of my budget. <laughs> and then the Yeti Pro, that's the XLR version I think we're talking about. That's 250. Yeah. You should always go XLR if you have the choice. Honestly, there's so much reverb in here, I don't think a higher quality mic would be a good investment before I get some acoustic panels. <laughs> Fair. You can always make them. Yeah, I could, but I actually saw a decent um, LTT episode recently about some from Elgato, which I'm thinking about getting sometime soon. Okay. I'm wary about buying things from Elgato because Elgato likes to sell things that shouldn't be sold. Um, That's cryptic. Are we talking just, like personal information here or no, no, cursed like microphones? Products, products that just don't need to exist at all. Um, I'm trying to remember I, what there's it. kind of a philosophical question there. If a product doesn't need to exist but it sells well, I think it kind of justifies its own purpose. I mean, it makes them money, but that's it. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the point of making products. Is to if people them. will give them money for it, then... I think I figured <laughs> out the problem with dueling ocarinas as a business. I think I may have solved it right here and now. Uh, oh, no, that's what it is. Elgato, Elgato sells things that are like five bucks for $500. Because they, they buy like... Or they sell like the ring light. Which you can get at five below. <laughs> and they sell it for five hundred dollars. Um, well, here's the problem: is that they don't sell anything themselves. You have to buy it through a third party, and it's impossible to tell what their prices are. Also, uh, because I'm streaming, my internet is slow on my phone. It's five hundred dollars, unless it's fifty, which is a steal for a five dollar product. Two hundred dollars. $200 for a ring light that you can get yeah, I mean, for $5 at 5 below. Yeah, they, they have pr stuff that's overpriced. It's a name brand. Look at Alienware. I try not to. Yeah, same. <laughs> the, the only experiences I know from uh, Alienware are Dom, where he got an Alienware laptop and it was really good, and then a year or two later, it was worthless. And that was a story from Dom, and I went, wow, that's, that's really sad. And I've heard that Dell's had some pretty, pretty bad um, customer service, but, you know, oh well. Uh, you know, I'm, that's, I'm sure that's a one-off. And then I went to a gaming school, and that was everybody's experience with Alienware. <laughs> yeah. 
I was watching a review recently also on the aforementioned tech YouTube channel yeah, that um, Alienware has recently put together a laptop that would be about the best on the market, hands down, except they didn't drop the money to put like a $20 multiplexer chip in it in this $3,600 laptop. And that gives it like a 10% performance hit because it has to um, channel all the information through the CPU to get to the monitor instead of just bypassing the CPU entirely. Yeah. Oof. And so it performs objectively worse than a laptop with the same specs that's 600 bucks cheaper. <sighs> hey, at least they saved those $20. I'd say that Alienware used to mean something, but I wasn't really buying back when that was true. Yeah. Alienware Since we have been in this business, really Alienware for... has been kind of overhyped. Yeah. For for about a decade now, at least. Um, yeah. Honestly, at this point, I think it's lost most of the weight it used to have. Now it's just the Dell gaming brand, like... Um, yeah, you know, the MSI Dragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we also have, like, all other technology, like, um, green screens, uh, mm -hmm. better webcams for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely better webcams. We don't even need green screens. Observe. Yeah. Uh, I do still have a green screen, though. Um, have a digital camera that uh, is not good anymore, but it was pretty good. <laughs> Still no DSLR. Eventually. Um, that's my next upgrade for webcam. Is DSLR? Is DSLR? <laughs> <laughs> uh, or what's the other? Not DSLR, but practically the same thing. Can't remember what it is. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm pretty happy with the um, the one I have right now. It's um, a Logitech 4K. I forget the name of the thing, but it should future proof me for a good number of years. The Logitech 920 is the the current kind of standard. Or nine, maybe it's nine thirty now, but there's not the the upgrade from nine twenty to nine thirty is not worth any extra money. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, let's do that. It's not the nine twenty. Uh, a mirrorless oh, it's just called the Logitech Stream Cam. Okay. Mirrorless system cameras are the, uh, basically what a DSLR is, except a, a DSLR has a mirror in it, and mirrorless system cameras have the same quality, but without the mirror. Hmm. So, it, You're moving it parts. just, yeah, correct. It just digitally reorients the, uh, picture as opposed to using a mirror to do so. Um. And also, you just look through the, um, instead of having a physical viewfinder, you use the digital viewfinder, which used to be a terrible thing, but now that we have cameras that are this good, <laughs> and processors that can handle things in real time like that, yeah, you don't, you don't need that. One day we'll have to explain to our kids that there was a time when people actually cared how good that the camera in your phone was because they were all kind of bad. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you seem to have Chris Pratt there stuck in the corner of your room. Yeah. Well, I mean, Chris Pratt, Chris, Chris Pratt in a hat. Right here. Hector tried to take from him earlier. Yeah. It's a little chewed up. Mm. He's been there a while, though. 
Yep. And I've got Tiny Kong right here. Well, you did. You got shame. Will that hat be making a comeback um, later next month for the extra live stream? What? The hat that Chris Pratt's wearing? Yeah. Uh, he'll still be wearing it. <laughs> no, but I mean, will you be wearing it? Well, no. I have better ones. <laughs> That's not the point of the hats. <laughs> They're not he supposed to be good. He's a pretty short person. When you, like, see him in perspective, Murray. Yeah. Well, they, they do all those, like, in Lord of the Rings, where they had Gandalf, like... Really close up, and all the hobbits really far away. I'm trying to remember how perspective works. <laughs> Other way around. Hop... How, Wait, no, you had no, it right. I, I had it right, you're to right. show them they're short, you had Gandalf yeah. close and the Hobbit's far. Yeah. They just always have Star-Lord, like, right Gross. up at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Can't wait for that deep divers when you can explain perspective again. Lord of the Rings? No. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, Lost and Furious? Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's gonna Fast be Fast and Furious. Because, uh, yeah, we're doing a Deep Divers probably later this year where I talk about um, Fast and Furious because I've seen one through eight. I have not seen Hobbs and Shaw yet. They're I have seen movies. none of them. Tim? They are genuinely good movies. <laughs> I had not I'll seen that any under of them I until... I not seen any of them until a couple months ago. Yeah. And then we watched them. And we were like, alright, that's that's pretty good. And then we kept going, like, they're... Like, okay. These are fantastic movies. Yep. <laughs> I enjoyed that more than I expected to. Like, we finished them and I was like, yeah, I could I could do that again. Now. Mm-hmm. I, I could turn around and watch them all... Now. Yeah. Uh. Speaking of good movies, um, Riley just saw The Mummy tonight. Which one? The new one? The first one. The the beginning of the, uh, the... Dooku? The Dark Universe Cinematic Universe? Uh, that was also the end of the, um, <laughs> Dark Universe Cinematic Universe. But no, not that Dooku. one. The Brendan Fraser one. Uh, okay. I don't know that I've seen that movie. What, the Dooku one, or the no. Britain Fraser? Wait, what's it called again? <laughs> the Mummy. Oh, never mind, I've seen that. Yeah. I heard The Money, and I was like, I've not heard of this movie. Yeah, it's the most recent Oceans movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Those are still going good. somehow. Uh, yeah, how? Uh, George Clooney isn't dead yet. But, like, he wasn't even in the last one. No, but I bet you'd see him in the credits if you looked hard enough. Yeah, maybe. He wasn't in it at all? He didn't even make a cameo? Well, it was, it was the women. Of, That's of why I said a cameo. He could yeah, have shown up. I don't think so. Like, I don't know, I didn't see it. Well, I, didn't, I didn't either. Because George Clooney is a lich, and the Ocean's there. franchise is his phylactery. We can only kill him by destroying it. <laughs> I'm good with that. The first one was really good. Mm-hmm. So anyways, what are mm -hmm. some other things that have happened over the years? <laughs> mm. oh. I feel like we should do a Where Are They Now segment for um, Pierre and Ray. Just, you know, dial in on... Um, oh, is, is Ray their name now? Yeah, so just... Dial in on Discord, say hi. Hi, where are you? Oh, you're in Georgia? Okay, bye. Where are they now? <laughs> where are they now? Yeah, we, we did talk about what had happened with them post mm -hmm. basically a where are they now. Uh, I wasn't sure what Ray's current name was or gender or... <laughs> yeah. Or what they were doing. I mean, you knew that they were... Uh, they're, they're Florida, right? Um, yeah, she's in Florida, um, working on grad school. Okay, that's cool. cool. Game design, what else? 
Yeah. Um, you've gained a lot of skills over the years. Mm-hmm. You have edit had, and draw and paint. And... Yeah, I couldn't draw before. Nope. And now I can. Yeah. In pixel art. Uh, we've all gotten either better or worse at voice acting. Mm. <laughs> Some of us have gotten better. Other <laughs> of us <laughs> perhaps has gotten worse. <laughs> mm. Someone's gotten worse? Yes. Someone. Someone? <laughs> Someone used to have a range and now it doesn't? No, Tim's just I horrible. I fell out of practice. I, I, know. <laughs> I also used to be place. funny sometimes. That doesn't happen uh, so much anymore. I've studied and done uh, stand-up because of this. Um, we tried doing improv once, but y'all can't. No. <laughs> no, we can't. I can't, at least. Y'all, y'all just can't. <laughs> we tried it for one episode and didn't give anyone any practices before. That yeah, wasn't we did. exactly fair. We did. Mm. We, we had a practice round before we went live. Mm. We did all the games previously. We're like, we're doing these games. Now we're going to do a practice round. One practice round is hardly training <laughs> for improv. Uh, y'all don't learn improv in school? I learned improv in school. Did you? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I barely learned school in school. I mean, that's fair. I tried not to. You tried not to learn school? Mm Mm-hmm. Why? I was usually pretty effective. But then I got caught. Oh, that's (laughs) what you're talking about. Uh, Yeah, I had to learn scripting. And I don't mean the programming method, but, like, writing scripts, Mm -hmm. directing, producing, producing. I think that's called screenwriting. Producing. Hey, shut the fuck up. Nobody asked you. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Uh. Yeah. Acting. Never wanted to be an actor. Really? Really? No. Weird. I also never wanted to... I thought actually everyone wanted to be an actor. No. Weird. Uh, I I did acting in middle school. Hey, can you stop sneezing? Just fix your nose already. Back at you, (laughs) allergy man. I've done enough stage acting to know that is not what I need to be doing with my life. What? Stage acting. Oh. Um, yeah, I've done a little, and it wasn't fun. I hated Did it. Church place count because I've done that. <sighs> yeah. Then yeah, and it was fun, but it sucked because it was at a church and they suck. <laughs> I didn't hate it, okay. but it's not the really possible to do sense. without cosmetics, and I'm kind of allergic to them. Ooh. What? What's wrong with your skin? Yes. Is it because you're a ginger? I wish that was the only problem. (laughs) It would make a lot of sense. Because y'all do have sensitive skin. Yeah, so the actual problem is I've got a whole bunch of simultaneously obscure and kind of common allergies. Obscure in that nobody else has them and common in that they are everywhere. Ah. The two big ones are cosmetics and artificial fragrance. Oh, cool. So, you're not a fan of Febreze? Or candles? Nope. Or Glade? Nope. Or the little trees that you hang in your car that's technically illegal to hang in your car in most states? It's illegal to hang them in your car? Yeah. Why? Because you're not allowed to hang anything from the, um... Uh... That's actually a law? Yeah. I don't know if it's true in Georgia, but... Because I see lots of things uh-huh. hanging from rear mirrors. 
like fuzzy dice or yeah. masks now. Yeah. A lot of people hang their masks and like, there, and that's a weird. Most states that's them. illegal. Really? Yeah. Well, there are a whole bunch of laws on the books that no one actually of them enforces. Say to put the parking thing there. Yeah. Well, well I, I mean, parks. here. Mm-hmm. Here's where we You're are. also not driving with that. You just. Um. Another thing I that's illegal in... in most states is the uh, the little covering around the outside of your um, uh, license plate. Like, if you buy your car, most places, they'll come with, like, the little plastic covering around the license plate. Mm-hmm. And that's illegal in, in most states that I'm aware of. Hmm. <laughs> Which is fine, because they're stupid anyways, but... I think it's in Texas that you're not allowed to shoot someone out the second story of a window. First or third story is also still illegal, but second can technically be charged as its own crime on its own. Nice. Which is weird, having uh, gun laws like that that are restrictive at all in Texas. Well, it's not illegal. I'm pretty sure it dates back to like the 1800s. (laughs) Uh no, it's still legal. You just missed out on a chance to make ten thousand dollars. Yeah. It's only if it causes issues with the legibility of the license plate. Georgia. Okay. What state do you want me to look up? I don't know. I mean I didn't think it was illegal here. Georgia lets everything go by. Everything's free in Georgia. That's why we do drugs, hard drugs, like ibuprofen. Call back to that amazing joke I made at the very beginning where no one was here and no one heard it. Yeah, and you put the sound on the... This is why we need to bring back GG No Pre-Stream. No. (laughs) I mean... Hell yeah, I'll play some Castlevania, but <laughs> that was the only good thing that. Well, no, no, there were two there were things. Twenty XX. Yeah, I was talking about good things. That was at least an entertaining thing. Yeah. Castlevania was a good thing from GG No Prestream, and uh, the. The dating game was fun. The Cripple Dater? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it provided me with the experience of having played Cripple Dater. Which, um... Why play that when you could just play Hatofo Boyfriend? The only state where the f- license plate frame is illegal is Oklahoma. A few states don't allow the plate shields. And several require it to be perfectly clear. But the frame is only illegal in Oklahoma. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Why couldn't you have done this after the stream? (laughs) Because it was bullshit, and I knew it was bullshit, and I had to call it out, but I had to check first. (laughs) You had to check first. (laughs) (laughs) Oh... I like how you didn't check the other thing, though. <laughs> uh, what else have we done? We've done live-action stuff. <laughs> oh, good point, Murray. To get one installed there, or if someone drives through, do they have to ins- uninstall it? Great question. It's a $10,000 fine. Um... If you go I think what happens is if you drive through Oklahoma with one of those plates on, a tornado just comes and rips it off your car. <laughs> yeah, but also if you don't have one, then a tornado comes through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Basically, don't drive through Oklahoma. <laughs> don't go to Oklahoma. Just in general. Oklahoma. Hmm. We've done live action streams. Or not... Yeah, I guess we have done live action streams because we played board games. Done live action streams. Really We've recorded live action stuff. There was the uh, Apocalypse. 
Yeah, Alpocalypse. There was our um, A Cure for Nudity. Okay, that one's real. Well, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you've got the mop head on your wall? <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks. You should send us a picture of it. Nice. To, to drive the socials, you should tweet us a picture of it, and then we won't pay attention because I don't even Wait, know. To check Twitter. Yeah, I don't. I don't Never. know what the password is for for the dueling Ocarina's <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Just post We're it in Discord. Gentleman's Gang Twitter. Is there a Gentleman's Gang Twitter? Hey, if there's not a Gentleman's Gang Twitter, anyone out there can have it. Um, <laughs> We won't need that. Is there a gentleman's kink Instagram? Oh hell no. We probably I'm out should. There too. Yeah, we probably should grab that one, considering Instagram is actually going to be something in the next ten years. Uh. Nice. Nice. All I think Nachtling. I still have that too. Do I have all Nachtling? I have it. You you do okay then probably just you. <laughs> probably just me. I've got it somewhere. I've been I've got the uh, fire team shirt somewhere. I think it's packed up in a I'm box. I'm wearing a fire team shirt, for old time's sake. I need to go through and update those because awful uh, fabric. They're awful fabric. They're 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 this standard. This one's awful fabric. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're they're very cheap cotton t-shirts. Um, yeah, they didn't really age well. They're fun though. Yeah, but uh. I've changed all of the Dueling Arc Arenas ones. Or, no, I haven't. I haven't done that yet either. Have I? No. I've changed all of my Case and More shirts over to be the, um, the, a higher quality fabric. And they're great. They're very soft. And I, I keep meaning to go through and do it for all of our Gentleman's Gang and Dueling Arc Arena shirts. But that takes time. And I have to, like, remember to do it. And, you know, those are just problems. Problems. They are problems. Well, you still have some shows still going from basically the beginning. Uh, Party Patrol is basically just the, the logical evolution of the podcast. Although, I missed the podcast. I miss it. The podcast was fun. Fire Team is our oldest gaming. It's been a while since you've done an episode, though. Ep show series, I guess. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Well, actually, I guess. Did we start with Fire Team or F E and D? I think we started with Effie and D. I think you're right. Really? Yeah. I thought you started with Fire Team. No, I think we started with Effie and D. And I believe we very quick, like, it was within the first couple episodes that we became the Fire Team doing Effie and D. I think it's because before we did any of that, we did a game jam for um, a strategy game we called Tactics and Tarasks. And the F E and D crew was basically copied from the characters we made for that. Uh, that's actually incorrect. <laughs> uh, the F E and D team was based off of uh, Dom and I sitting in a Waffle House, me telling him my idea for F E and D. And F E and D happened a year or so before we ever did the uh, Tactics and Tarasks. Uh, In my defense, it was seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that, that game we made was awesome. Uh, because it didn't work and it was trash. And <laughs> uh, it didn't amount to anything and all of it was thrown away. Hmm. And I don't think we ever even got that... a playable version. Well, so... Uh, there was in-game footage, later, but it wasn't actually playable. Yeah. Three months later, we, uh, or I, 
was in my capstone class at uh, at college, and capstone is the final overarching class where it's ev- all of your skills combined to uh, prove you know what you're doing. I got here through hacks and um, bullshit, which is to say, I failed Calc One, retook Calc One, um, succeeded, took Calc Two. Failed Calc 2, but because I was taking Calc 2, I was able to sign up for data structures. <laughs> Failed Calc 2. Had to retake it, but it didn't matter. I was taking data structures. Um, uh, failed data structures, but <laughs> I was able to, because I was doing data structures, <laughs> take... Um, uh, Studio, which was the predecessor to Capstone. And then I went back and I was doing, like, Calc 2, Data Structures, and Capstone at the same time. Mm-hmm. You and I think now we know why you prefer scripting to programming. <laughs> I couldn't hear that. Um, and so I'm, I finished my studio class. I worked as a team. We worked together. We made a crappy game, but we succeeded. And then it was capstone time. Again, I still haven't done half the courses you need. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't successfully passed there you go. <laughs> half the courses you need. And it, I'll be honest, it wasn't because I didn't understand the stuff. It was because I didn't show up to class. It's funny at, how at I all. also wasn't showing up to class at that time. Anyways, I wonder where um, you two could have been. Uh, work. <laughs> yeah, honestly, a lot of work. Actually work. <laughs> um, and taking Capstone, uh, didn't go to class the entire semester. I, I showed up for the first two classes, and then I wasn't there for literally any other class the, the semester. Um, and... We get to the end of the semester, and the the professor emails me, Hey, you know that you have a game due, and also, the way we're doing this is, you have to take this game and display it at the um, uh, electronic showcase for the school. And there's going to be all of the seniors for the entire CS department will be there showing off their 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 stuff and this will be part of your grade I didn't have a game but you had a Tarasque so five days later after after five days after getting the email five days after getting the email you didn't get the email and start you waited five days well no no this was five days after getting the email which which I have, uh, listen, Okay. I had completely rebuilt Tactics and Tarasks, gotten it working, put the um, a, a story in that we hadn't written at all, uh, put in uh, the characters, redone art for it, um, <laughs> and like put in new music and stuff. And I went, and I won first prize. <laughs> And I passed my capstone class, and I didn't pass data structures. Because, <laughs> I mean, at, at capstone at that point, like, I made first, I got first prize. You can't, you can't fail me at that point. Like, I know I didn't do anything you asked me to. We were supposed to have, like, weekly checkups. I was supposed to make a video every single week of, like, here's what I did this week, here's the problems, here's what I'm working on next week. None of it. And then, yeah. No, I'm a business management dropout. I don't know what the rest are. Uh, I'm a game dev grad. Um, and he's, uh... 
over grad over I'm so bad at engineering I went to school for it twice <laughs> yeah and, and I think Dom's also a dropout yeah yeah and uh yeah now Tim may or may not work tangentially regarding NASA I he doesn't to, work for NASA anymore. Oh, okay. You moved on from that. Uh, yeah, that was a um, a few years ago. Okay. Oh, okay. Now you just work for the government. Um, yes, that would be an accurate statement. <laughs> I mean, I, I do work for the government. I am not, not employed, employed by, the, by government. the government, but he does work for the government. <laughs> uh, John or AJ or Kason Moore. Kristen or Broeys Nominus. And that one is Tim. Or Paladin. <laughs> that one. That one. Point to him. Uh, it's also kind of pointing at your empty margarita. I know. Not margarita. Uh, martini. martini. Whatever. I'm the one who drank it in like 30 seconds while you insulted my job. I don't think I insulted your job. I think deep down we're all empty margarita glasses. <laughs> Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, That's somewhat well, that depends on what happens in Congress in the next few weeks, but for now, Oof, I do get paid. Yes, oh shit. Oh. Are you saying I should get more? If you want to. <laughs> do you? I don't know. I'm not twisting your arm. Oh, yeah, we do charity streams and stuff. That was really on the blue. It's on my list. I know. I have. <laughs> we're like, I have does Tim get paid? Podcast, oh, we're improv, into, like, live action, charity stream, like, scripted we projects. We do things for kids. Lots of voice acting, fanfic, which we talked about earlier. We did. Um, Tim, I think, sodomizes the devil or something. Or vice versa. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, community streams. Only when there's a manatee those. on the line. Oh, uh, that's true. You're the manatee man. Vanity! That's what it was. I was like, I know there's a stuffed toy involved somewhere. And Pierre just yeah, watches the whole thing right, through the window. Stuffed. Mm -hmm. Because no one's actually sure whether or not Pierre exists. Yep. Mm. Um, I miss doing community streams, but we don't have a community anymore, so... Kinda, yeah. Uh, hey, Murray, wanna do a stream sometime? <laughs> We've gained and lost talent, gained new skills, better equipment, life events, we talked about that. We talked about life events, we talked about equipment. We talked about making new friends. Oh yeah, I branched out once. I started my own channel called Case and More. Oh it yeah. It didn't go well. It was a mistake. Now I have to stream for two channels. I know. And <laughs> you have to do art for two channels. <laughs> and you have to make shirts for two channels. Yeah. And you have to decide what channel your new ideas go to yep and then and I, then I did this thing where like there was this other group of streamers oh that was uh, a problem that were willing to pay me That's so I went and I streamed with them and then they didn't pay me and so I went peace yep. <laughs> yeah that's a good reason I occasionally do a publicity thing for us but I'm kind of bad at it most conventions that I go to, I'll go in a um, a, a GG shirt that says uh, cosplay mechanic, and I have like a whole big cosplay kit or repair kit to fix almost anything. And yeah. you know, in order to repair things for someone, I you know I have two requirements: I need to get a picture of the repaired cosplay, and I need to give them a card for our channel. Okay. The first year or two, it was great, but since then, things have completely dried up, and I think I gave exactly one business card at Dragon Con earlier this year. Gotcha. Yeah. <sighs> I just wear my shirts everywhere, mm -hmm. and then people tell me, and I give them business cards. Or I tell them that it's too embarrassing, you don't want to know about it, let's not talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Us usually not that one. <laughs> it depends. What else? Mm. 
Oh yeah, so uh, one one little thing. So uh, this this channel's gentleman's gank, and all of its first videos were not uploaded to a channel called Gentleman's Gank. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> they were uploaded to a YouTube channel called Dueling Ocarinas because we had that already because of <laughs> other plans. How are and those then, other plans coming? Uh, we're in closed beta. Which means we need to find people mm -hmm. to beta. The finding people did not go well. No. There was an attempt was made. <laughs> this is just the wrong... No, uh, just set of years in general for finding people. Just period. Yeah. Yes. 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 You are you are you are speaking to someone who is a hiring manager. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is a. Uh, if you know anyone in the Atlanta area who needs a job, discredit us on gentleman's kink. Oh gosh! Oh, don't do that. <laughs> it's not this job. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. I can promise uh, you, if you come work for us, your paycheck will have exactly as many zeros in it as ours. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true, we are equal pay. Um, nobody gives us bits or subscribes anymore, so, uh... Oh, yeah. Do we get nothing? We get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> do we have ads? Um, I had to watch an ad We do have ads. Do the sound check. Yes. But people have to actually be here watching the ad for it to... Uh, so I should log out and log back in a bunch of times or to I could see just, a lot of ads. I could just manually cause ads to happen. That's a pain. <laughs> yeah, I, I. that's why I don't do yeah, it. Yeah, no, <laughs> don't do not... that. That's <laughs> terrible. Now, I, I could set it up to... Like, auto-roll ads every X amount of time, which gets rid of the pre-roll ad. But it interrupts the show. I agree. Oh, thanks for the bit. <laughs> thanks for the bit. <laughs> you know, I wonder if I have any bits. Do you? I don't know. Right there. Oh, yeah, I do. You know what? Some bits. Oh, look at you. Look at you guys. Let me go through my 27 tabs open. Play like Not Tim a right copycat. Now. That's a hundred times what he did. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, we did Gentleman's Game, or not, Dueling Ocarinas, and. Um, That's being a copycat. I can do it 19 more times if I want to. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll see how many I got. Uh, Dooley Ocarinas then became a company, which owns Do Gentleman's Gank, and it's a production company that produces this and games. Games. And we have one game that's close to release. Game. How many do you have? No, it's slow. <laughs> you have to watch an ad. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm signed in under Gentleman's Gank here. Oops. Why would I do that? that I have make no sense. idea. The gin ginger ale. That's why? Making me feel good. Mm. The gin ginger ale. Mm hmm. The, the gin. Now, ale. see, if Tim were to drink one of those, then it would be a ginger ginger, gin, ginger, ginger ale. <laughs> Jim Jimmery, Jim Jimmery, Jim Jim Jimmery. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. If a ginger drinks ginger ale, does that increase the ginger or does it cancel out? It increases. Yeah, it definitely increases. There's no canceling a ginger. I don't know. Give the media enough time. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Got two-factor authorization. You were struggling so hard to watch your own stream, and it's hilarious. No, what? Fuck. No. No wonder no one watches us. It's impossible. Apparently. Fuck. What did you do? It's just useless. This is too late, I'm sure. Oh, bro. Tell me about all those knots on the wall. Knots on the wall? You mean those? Other wall. There? Yep, those. An Eagle Scout tied them. Oh, I wonder which one. Huh? No, they didn't. They didn't? No. That's that's just then a... Then why do we have that on display? I thought cool. you tied them. No. I thought that was your doing. No, why would I tie all those ones? Because no. you needed a merit badge! Because cause of that no, other thing no, we no, have no, on no, display. No, 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 no. You don't have to tie knots for merit badges. You have to tie them to rank up. <laughs> <laughs> those were made by a machine or some random stranger? Correct, yeah. A machine tied all of those. Hey, but they're pretty. <laughs> they're very pretty. I mean, I have tied all those knots, but... No, you haven't! <laughs> There's no proof. Oh, I have zero bits. Oh. Mm -hmm. I feel like I just ruined a marriage. <laughs> ah, I can't ruin, it's already broken. It wasn't held together by machine-made knots. <laughs> yeah. I think we're getting close to the end here. It's about as long as our first podcast was. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Which... We were confused about because we felt like it was three hours or something. It was only an hour and 49 minutes. And it's not much. But it felt In the long. grand scheme of things. And we did all these short podcasts after. Like 55 mm -hmm. minutes, 44 minutes. It's not even worth the time doing it. To be fair, though, it felt long partly because you didn't know what you were doing yet. Yeah. At least I didn't fall asleep this time. Yay! <laughs> we we mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. Uh, you fall asleep. Dom pees. Yeah. I overproduce. You overproduce? Yeah. And Pierre gets drunk. Mm -hmm. Off a of thimble. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, so it's been seven years. Lucky seven. It is one of my two lucky numbers. They add up to 20? They do add up to 20. <laughs> I might be a little basic. <laughs> well, Tim, what are you looking forward to for the next seven years of this shit? <laughs> um yeah now that i hopefully have a long-term career and a house and i'm not moving all over creation for school every few years i might actually have time to sit down and learn some stuff that would be useful for the stream yeah maybe i'll take an improv class they are fun they're very enjoyable and they're good skills not just for doing improv, but also in life, in mm -hmm. business. Oh, yeah. Improv is something everyone should take. Uh, also because it's genuinely fun. 
Uh, what about you? I don't know. Hopefully move at some point. Yeah. You're talking about settling down. We're talking about picking up. <laughs> We've Where do you think about heading? North. North. We're going to... Not to Yankeeville, though. Not that north. It's too too far. <laughs> Just somewhere. We gotta we gotta stay south. Hot. South of the Mason Dixon, so that we can be in God's country. <laughs> no, we don't have. Well, to. I ended up moving north, but I ended up moving more west than north. Yeah. I mean, we've moved westish once. <laughs> yes, <laughs> technically. <laughs> Technically. Unfortunately, we also went south. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Moving north. We've decided that there's just, uh, there's still too many of us in the same state. We need to spread out more so that there's no chance of us ever doing anything in live mm -hmm. action again. <laughs> that just means we'll have to get together for a special Dragon Con episode every year or something. Ugh. How long do you think Dragon Con can stick around? They've had some ah. some bad uh, press the last few years, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, there's there's like a thing that happened a bit ago hmm. with one of the founders. Oh. I hadn't heard about that, but you know, it, it keeps yeah. getting bigger with no signs of stopping. Um. At this point, they're going to need to add another hotel soon. Hmm. They've already got five, plus two of the three America's Marts buildings. And, oh, yeah. realistically, uh, all of Peachtree Center. Yeah. Edward Elliot Kramer is an American editor and convicted child molester who co-founded Dragon Con. Oh. Realistically, Dragon Con has... again in 2019 for having child porn. Not a Dragon dude. Con really doesn't have a whole lot to do with the people who founded it anymore. It's taken on a life no. of its own. Yeah. But there does... There does come some, um... Awkward legal issues if... Like, the person in charge is... Because, like, you do have to have someone in charge. Yeah. No, that does absolutely qualify as bad press, but I don't think it's going to hurt the convention too much. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of conventions, though. Or there were in the before times. In the before times. Yeah. In the less precedented times. In the more precedented times? I don't know, I feel like this was pretty precedented. <laughs> well, if you uh, don't want to do Dragon Con, there is uh, one the next state over called Kami Con. Not Comic Con, okay. Kami Con. Yeah. Like it's God -Con. basically Dragon Con, but smaller. Like Dragon Con 15 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot more anime focused. Uh, I couldn't have guessed from the Japanese name. Yeah, yeah, real subtle. I've heard about it a fair amount. It's fun. In Bama. Yep. Birmingham. Or Birmingham. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, that one. Are you sure? Oh yes, Kami. I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, there are worse. You could have, like, Fascist Con, or... I was gonna say. <laughs> I feel like Comic Con's a little bit better. Mm. Alright, well, I feel like that's gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Um, hey, Tim, how did we wrap up the, uh podcast back in the day that is a good question 
I'm sure you remember. <laughs> of course. I was just testing you. I'm still <laughs> testing you, though. Yeah, Tim. How did it used to end? <laughs> um, honestly, if memory serves, pretty much the same way it does now. We all say I, uh, we say bye bo- awkwardly until someone kills the recording. Okay. Well, uh... Thanks, everyone, for coming. Appreciate you good. seeing us. As always. Tune in next year for hopefully something that's not quite more of the same. Yeah, I guess. Uh, tune in next year for some for the same, but in different places. <laughs> and with different equipment. <laughs> I'll probably still have this mountain behind me. Probably. Probably. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.